Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with another exciting uh, time with Excel VBA is fun. Uh, here in Lesson 8 of the Beginner Series, we are going to talk a little bit about the um, the end uh, uh, method using Excel up, Excel down, Excel to left, and to right. Let me show you what that means. Um, if you've been watching, keeping up with Excel is fun with Mike Gervin's videos, um, you'll know that if you, let's say you click down here, and you want to go to the nearest uh, not filled range, you need to hit control up. And that takes us here. Um, and if I were to hit control right, it would take me to the end of this string of not empty cells. So control right. If I hit control up, it'll take me to the top. Control left. So that's using the end feature. If we were If we were to record a macro right now, um, in fact, we can do that. Let's hit record macro. And I'm going to hit control up. It took me from here to the next um, non-adjacent cell, or I guess you could call that the next not empty cell. Uh, now, stop recording. We've only done one command, control up. Let's go to module 2 and see what it said. Selection.end using Excel up. And then select it. Um, we're not really going to use that today. We're going to use uh, kind of a custom one. Because whenever you're building a report that you want to generate over and over, every time you click a button or every time you do something, you want it to go through generally and select whatever the specific range, like to A2 through C10, and delete it, and then run a new report that might have a different number. It might go to 18 or it might go to 400. So here's how we find that out using the end feature. We're going to say this workbook dot sheets my report okay dot and we're going to use the cells again but here's what we're going to do. We're going to say rows dot count comma one now I will explain thus far for the row you got row and you always have column after the comma for the row we're taking the number which is the number of row, the count of how many rows in this workbook uh, comma one so we're going to get we're talking about column a okay it doesn't make sense yet I know dot end so we want to go to the end and then we're going to use XL up okay and then dot row that probably makes no sense whatsoever what we're telling it is we want to know the row number of starting at the cell that's right here which is the one million something row comma column one we start at that cell and we want to go to the end going upwards not down left or right and we want to know the row number that should get us right here it should stop right here it won't even select it. It'll just tell us the number is t the row number is ten because we want to know the row number ultimately. So let's say that um, last row equals. We just gave it a name. It's random. You could say anything. You could fill in anything right here. Last row equals blah. Let's see what what it does. I'm going to debug by hitting F8. 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 Nothing there. Last row is a variable that's empty. But when I hit F8. It, sure enough, it picked up 10. What if I put something right here in row 13? Let's see what happens. I'll just go back. Let's backtrack. I'm going to take my little arrow and backtrack a little. Right now, last row is equal to 10, but if I hit F8, it should stop right here because this will be the new end of it. Okay, last row equals 13. Now, let's do something that is very important when you're generating ports that you want them to clear out before you uh, rerun it. So we're going to say... Um, I'm going to copy and paste this workbook dot sheets. This workbook dot sheets my report. Uh, copy that. Let's say dot range. We want to use the range of A2 through. So A2 through C. And I'm going to put in quote there. I'm going to put an ampersand to join A2 through C something. What row are we going to use? Let's see. How about last row? 
whatever last row is and then we'll say dot clear contents the clear contents will is just like selecting everything from A2 through C last row that would be C13 A2 through C13 and it's just like selecting and hitting delete only you don't have to select it um, let's backtrack okay last row is 13 and we're going to take the range of A2 through C 13 and clear the contents and if I hit F8 sure enough it cleared the last report everything from here just cleared it don't have, doesn't have to be selected then if you run the Mac drum and hit F uh, actually before I hit F5 I'm going to take out this thing that makes it go invisible because that's not going to help us today F5 okay from 1 uh, from 2 to 10 it went ahead and shoved that in there um, so now if we hit F5 you don't see anything but immediately each time it is actually selecting finding the last row taking A2 through C and last row C10 and clearing the contents and then rerunning the report really quickly so uh, when you hit F5 it just lickety splits it anyway that's how to use uh, the dot end feature and Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and we're back. Let's see. The next thing I wanted to show you, um, not only the XL up, but you can also use um, XL, I believe it's to left. XL to left. Now, right now, that wouldn't do us any good because currently it's going to the very bottom most row in column one, and it's going control up. So if we went to the very bottom row and we hit control left where does it go nowhere it's stuck right here if we did set it to control right or xl to right it would take us all the way over here and generally we don't want to be here the very last cell in the whole workbook so let's go back up here but let's say for example we did the selection selection it depends on where you click let's see my current selection right now is on G6 and if we did Excel to left from selection let's try that instead of this workbook dot sheets oh excuse me instead of this workbook dot sheets my report dot cells blah 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 let's just do selection let's change the whole pace selection dot end Excel to left dot row okay let's try that and we'll call this last column last call and again this could be anything you want let's try that last call so I'm gonna hit F8 to debug last column is selection uh, going all the way to the end going to the left it should say uh, ooh let's instead of dot row let's do dot dot column okay that way we will get the column number which should be one two three let's see what happens last column equals three what do you know it's just like as if you did this and went so I'm gonna randomly put some stuff in here in different columns okay you're seeing that I'm just putting random letters here so let's have fun with this we're going to say um, wherever I select my cursor at we're going to take the selection it's going to take the selection and go all the way to the left to the end and give me the column number so in this case it should go stop here at I which I don't even know that would be number 9 I guess let's see last column is 9 here I'm going to stop it let's click here F8 F8 last column is 9 Yep, nine. Let's click here. Okay, I selected that. And let's see, we'll backtrack up here. Last column is, okay, that's also on nine. Let me erase the one on I, and let me just rerun that one. Last column is six, which is, let's see here. Uh, right here on F so sure enough anyway that's the XL you got XL to left XL to right or XL up 
or XL down. And that's just like uh, holding control and hitting one of the arrows. Control up, control left, control right, control up, control down. So, anyway, thank you for watching.